the Waikato region, you'll find the best protected patch of gorse in the country. It's the Mahoi Nui Giant Weta Scientific Reserve. In 1962, a new species of giant weta was discovered here, where the weta were protected from predation by rats, as well as from being crushed by grazing livestock. The scourge of conservationists and farmers alike, that pesky gorse had saved the life of these gentle giants. With the weedy, weedy. It's made its home in the gorse um, so that it's nicely protected from rats and possums and hedgehogs and any other predators that might like to eat it. The main threats here are actually a fire outbreak in the gorse. The gorse is highly flammable and what we have had to do is create fire breaks throughout the gorse because if a fire was to come through the reserve it would actually devastate the population by wiping it out in one go. This is the only place that they're found. Um, however, we have translocated some up to Maharangi Island in the Karamandal and also more recently to um, a native block in Rurukuri Singh Reserve, which is also within the Maniapoto area. They are really good creatures to look at. They're something completely different. Um, and thankfully, they're not dangerous at all. They're very passive. And so whenever you get one on your hand, it's sort of it's the size of your hand um, and they're really cool to look at. So if you can see there, he's actually put his back leg up which is a wetter defence mechanism from way back. They have done that great thing that lots of our New Zealand wildlife does, which is they've got cottoned on to a really good design and stuck with it. And uh, these guys have done an even better thing, which is rather than their habitat being lost and therefore them disappearing, they have adapted to a new habitat, and thank goodness they did. With the weedy, weedy, that there is what you'll be familiar with if you've seen one of these in your back garden. This is New Zealand's very classic tree weta and they are quite a different um, shape and actually behaviour. The great thing about giant weta is unlike tree weta, uh, which are quite ag aggressive, giant weta are very gentle. So as long as he's got room to move on me right now, he's quite happy. And I'm saying he because he is a he. If we have a look at the end of his abdomen, if he stops being shined by his bottom being on camera, he doesn't have that long ovipositor. He's got a couple of wee spikes at the bottom, but he certainly doesn't have the big, long, egg-laying hydroslide that the female has. We just come across another one of the Mahonui giant weta. This time it's a female, and we can tell that it's a female because she's got that beautiful, big, long ovipositor for laying her eggs, and uh, she's also a very beautiful colour. They'll eat the gorse flowers and some other bits of vegetation and also some other invertebrates. So it's really the, the rats are the major problem for them? Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that seem to come in and, and favour them as their, their diet. Chew their way through them. Exactly. exactly. They're too atara like to eat wetter too, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any too atara here, do no. we? <laughs> no, no too atara in the gorse. Just goats and wetter. <laughs> Because New Zealand never had any native mammals except for a couple of bats, the weta filled the role of rodents on the forest floor, so they effectively became our mice and our rats. They've been around for over 190 million years, and that's longer than the tuatara. I think that they are extremely gorgeous creatures, and the more I learn about them, the more fascinating they get.